Ever since its debut four weeks ago, Batman The Dark Knight has ruled the roost at the box office. It is now the third highest grossing movie ever behind Star Wars and Titanic. Will the Batman ever overtake those two blockbusters? Media by Numbers president Paul DeGarabedian joins us to look at its prospects. Good morning, Paul. Good morning, Julie. Okay, so 10 years ago today, yeah. Titanic made how much money? Well, Titanic earned $600.8 million domestically. It took several months to get there, but it did it, and that has been a record that has stood the test of time. 10 years it's held onto that record. Wow, okay, so will Dark Knight make, make it to the record books and, and knock off Titanic and knock off Star Wars? Well, it's been knocking off every other record. Uh, fastest sprint to uh, 200 million, 300 million, 400 million in just 24 days. This film is now up to 441.5 million dollars. Probably by the end of the week, it'll beat Star Wars, which is at 461, to become the second highest grossing movie of all time in less than a month. That's really amazing. Will it be Titanic? I don't think so. I think it'll ultimately be at somewhere around $520 million domestically. Still amazing, and to do it this fast, I've never seen anything like it. Why do you think this is? I mean, clearly, it's gotta be a good movie to make this much money. And it is. But beyond that, what does it take? Why are people going back to see it, you know, time and time again? Is, yeah. is that what? That's a big part of it, the repeat business. And it's become a cultural phenomenon, and that's what made Titanic such a huge hit back in 1997 and 98 when it was playing for all those months and Dark Knight with Heath Ledger's performance it's it's kind of a legendary performance it's shrouded in mystique and that is really getting people talking and they're going back to see it over and over again to relive that performance by Heath Ledger and what about the the target audience here I mean yeah. with Heath Ledger's you know untimely death it, it it seems like everybody who maybe never saw a Batman movie, maybe didn't see his movie, they're coming out to see this final performance. Great point. I mean, it, people, you know, not the comic book genre is not for everyone or superhero movies, but this movie is transcending the genre. It is just, it's a great crime epic. So I'm encouraging people who aren't really into this kind of movie to go out and see it because it's so great. Although by this point, probably everyone's seen it, it seems like. Wow, I'll yeah. say. Other movies that you are urging people to see this summer in the last few seconds? Well, I think Wally is a great film. Hellboy 2 is another one. And uh, there's just been a, some great movies out this summer. Hellboy 2. Hellboy I'm going to add that to my list. <laughs> Not normally my genre, but maybe I'll give it a shot. Go see it. Paul DeGarabedi, and thank you so much. Thanks, Julie. You're welcome. Now let's head back to New York to, oh, wait, before we do that, to yeah. test your bat sense uh -huh. and meet the cast. Head to our website at earlyshow.cbsnews.com.